Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to do a get ready with me. Let's get started. All right, let's get started with our brows. I'm going to be using two colors today. Get my bangs out of the way. First, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. pencil in blonde, and I'm also going to be using the Joa or Joa um, pencil in cool blonde for the inner part, and then this on the outer. So if you are one of my dark haired sisters and the blonde doesn't work for you, both these pencils, both the Joa and the Elf come in darker colors, the brown. Elf also has a dark, they have a darkest like a black brown if that works better for you. I realize that everybody out there doesn't have the light color and it seems from the comments that I've had that those of you out there with very dark skin like almost black brown hair run into the problem of getting a brown that's dark enough that but one that's not quite black and a light um, haired sisters have a problem finding one that is not too orange or too red or yellow too golden with the gray hair so you know how it is you got to find one that that matches well with your your skin tone and with your original hair See, that's pretty close to my to what my hair looks like there so can't complain it's a good pencil that's so we're going to prep our lid area for shadow if you have dry eyelids or dry skin you may want to apply something underneath like a lotion or an eye cream and if you have oily lids or they tend to be more oily then you then you want to skip that step so the next thing we're going to do is go in with our milani eyeshadow primer And this has, it looks like it has a little bit of a tint to it, but when you start to put it on it, that tint starts to fade a little bit. So it doesn't really do much cover correction. So if you need cover correction on your lids in order to have a nice blank canvas for your shadow, then I suggest using a concealer after you use this. And I'm going to do just that. We don't have a lot of darkening these days. It seems like it's getting better, actually. And I'm going to use a little bit under my eyes as well. And this is the e.l.f. lightweight concealer and i will put all this down in the description box below i believe this is fair let's see this is fair 15w so i'm using a lot less concealer these days because the darkness around my eyes is going away um, and I'm thinking that's happening because uh, my body is absorbing nutrients a little bit better from my condition that I have. 
And so, and one thing that I did want to mention to you is if you have severe darkening around your eyes, you may want to look into a vitamin, a possible vitamin deficiency. I know that there are vitamins that can help with that, nutrients that can help with that. Um, I would look it up online. I will leave a link down in my description box below. I believe there's a YouTube video on that. And I haven't used these in a very long time. I, I have used this already to test it out for you to see what I thought about it. Uh, so I'm going to go in with one of my favorite um, brushes. And this is the Walgreens Double Ended Shadow Brush. It's got the fluffy side and it has a placement side. It's really all you need. These are great for travel and they're one of the softest brushes on the market. And they're very inexpensive, coming in at like $5. So before you spend a lot on an It Cosmetics brush, if you're a drugstore gal like myself, you might want to try these. I'm going to put this beautiful color right here. Oh, if you want to know what I'm wearing on my nails, these are the Dashing Diva nail applications. And let's see them. I just think they're so, so cute, if you're wondering. I'll put those down in my description box below. This is a great, great workhorse palette. And I'm glad I bought it. All right, so that's going to be the crease shade. And again, I'm not going down here. I'm staying above there. I'm going up here and I'm going to do like a moon, a reverse moon shape up here. So I'm adding the color just on that part. I will come in with a darker color. You'll see that here in a minute. I think this, this is a cool palette. And I think you will like this if you're fair skinned. All right. And I'm going to go in there with this taupe color here. So I'm going to darken it up. And you can use the taupe as a crease color too. I'm going to darken it up just on the outer up here. I'm just going to go right over that color. Now, if you don't have sagging eyelids, um, you don't have to do this. You can go ahead and windshield wiper, that dusty rose all in the crease. Do your placement per your eye shape. Um, not everybody's video is going to be perfect for everybody as far as the placement's concerned. Not even the tutorials that you see from the professional makeup artists are got, may not work for everybody. Depends on where you have, uh, where your lids are, you know, where you have skin that's, and I'm gonna put on, I forgot to put on my eyeshadow tape, but I tell you this, this is not eyeshadow, this is just medical tape that I got at Walgreens. But if I don't put this on, I just keep going outside of the line. <laughs> and because I have droopy, droopy thing going on here it's just so much easier to do it this way see now I can just put it on and not have to think about it okay good so we're going to darken that edge up there oh I love the colors in this palette so beautiful good with uh, the gray hair too all right, good. So I've darkened up that outer edge there. Just 
going to wipe my brush off and we'll go back in here again. Just kind of blend it all in. So pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to take this light color here, beautiful, on the placement end of this brush. And I'm going to put that down on my lids. Take it out the side there. And again, depending on your eye shape, if you have really large round eyes, you put the dark color on the lid up to and above the crease a little bit. So you want to do the opposite of what I'm doing. <laughs> But if you have the hooded lit, then you want to do kind of what I'm doing with a slight adjustments to, to suit your needs. All right, so then I'm going to take this white color here. Don't be afraid of white. White is really a great highlight. And I'm going to, after wiping off my placement brush, I'm going to go into that white color. And I'm just going to go just up underneath there. See how beautiful that is? See how it just kind of adds a little bit of dimension to this top part. Just gently. I'm just, I'm not even, I'm just tapping it on there. And then I kind of go back with my finger and kind of, there we go. Beautiful. And you can even put that white on the inside right here. open your eye up a bit. I'm going to go below the lash line just a little bit. I'm not going to go do the whole eye. I'm just going to do half. Oh, we watched a really good movie last night. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. I'll put the name of the movie on the screen here. Such a cute movie with Owen Wilson. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you haven't seen it, if you like gr chick flicks, girly stuff, <laughs> love, marriage, happiness, all that stuff, pretty woman. If you like those kind of movies, you'll love this movie. It just really checks off all of those boxes. So if you like that type of movie, I highly, highly recommend it. My husband liked it too. He did. In fact, he suggested it. <laughs> he liked it too. All right. So there we go there. And I'm just going to go back because I keep forgetting to put Q-tips here. Let me go get a Q-tip. Okay. Q-tips really helpful for diffusing that bottom line. A tinted hydrator by Wet n Wild. And let's see, I have the color me light medium. It smells like Play Doh. <laughs> and this sponge is firm. In fact, so we've got our sponge here, our e.l.f. concealer sponge. I'm going to put some water on it, put the foundation on there. And we're just going to pat, pat, pat this in. So this is, it seems very sheer. You can try to apply this with a brush. I just think sponges work so much better on my aging skin because I can press it into the, you know, the lines and stuff, <laughs> which is what I need to do. So. I'll use my fingers around my lips. I'm not going to use anything. All right. Yes, this is very sheer. So this is what I would consider a tinted moisturizer. Um, so if you want something lightweight, it is buildable. It looks like, okay, so I have some spots here. See those? So if you put more product on, 
Like you could put this product all over your face and then come back to these spots like right there, right there, right there and dabble a little bit on. See that? So it covers them, but not completely. It's nice. It's lightweight. We'll see how it wears. This is why I like this sponge. Look at this. I could go right in between my brows here, not mess up my brows. But this sponge is a bit firm. I will tell you that. It's not soft and pouncy. It's a bit firm. Okay, so we have our, our bronzer on. And I put a little bit of blush on. I'm using the Flower Beauty Flower Pot in Sweet Pea. It's a little pink and pretty. And then I, yes, I still have this. I know it's probably expired. This is the LA Girl Velvet Highlighter Stick in Luminous. I absolutely love it. I put a little bit here and put a little bit more. And it just gives you that glow within, but not overdone. And it works great for women in my age group. Love it. And it's very inexpensive. So now we're going to curl our lashes. I don't know about you, but using an eyelash curler, I really don't like it. I don't like things like this close to my eye. And it seems to be like some, it looks like some torture device <laughs> from, you know, the dark ages. <laughs> and I have to watch out I don't pinch my skin in there either. Oh dear. Dear, dear. All right. Got it. We're good. And even though I love it so, and it gives me big fatty lashes, um, I think I've had this for about three months. I'm not quite sure. And I don't think I would repurchase it. And I'm no longer recommending it to you out there for that reason. Because I think you're, you, Okay, if you don't mind your lashes clumping and if you don't mind wiping off the container periodically and if you don't mind having stuff all over the place <laughs> on your fingers, your lashes bumping up against, <laughs> if you don't mind all that and you're willing to go through all of that to have nice, thick, voluminous, falsy looking type lashes, then go for it. But if you want a clean look and you don't want clumping and all of that, then this is not the mascara to get because it is just, plus the wand is enormous. And even though I love this stuff, I, I'm not saying not saying I don't love it because it does give me, I mean, look at that. My lashes are like false lashes, but hmm. now that it's aging, it's getting clumpier and goopier, which is giving me better looking false lashes, but it's a mess. And I could see this pissing someone off major time. They're doing their makeup. They get all their stuff done and they put it on. They go smooch and it goes slip and it goes all over the place. And their lump lashes are clumping and they have to take a needle to separate them all and all of that. I could see that pissing somebody off really big time and them going, damn it. She recommended this stuff to me and it sucks. So just FYI on that. Just telling you. I, I'm going to put this on the bottom lashes and I hope this goes well for me. <laughs> I hope this goes well because I think I'm just going to try to use the tip here. One of my favorite nude lipsticks, uh, Wet n Wild in Close Off. And we are going to 
line our lips with flesh chair lip liner from Ulta. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching as always. I will put everything down in, in the description box below. If you'd like to um, see more of my videos, you like this video, click like, click subscribe if you want to. If not, that's fine too. And thank you so much as always for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.